Well, good Tuesday morning to you. Good to be back. Hope you had a great uh, weekend, long weekend, I hope, for you. Um, we had a great time down with family in Missouri. Um, boy, they got a lot of rain down there. Gosh. Um, but we had fun. Had a couple of days with some sunshine and mid-60s, so we're able to be outside and just rest and relax and be around family and friends and had a great time. Um, hope you did too. And uh, we are in Psalm 134 this morning. And it's a short one. And it's the last song of the Songs of the Pilgrims Ascending to Jerusalem. So we'll finish up this little uh, psalm this morning. Uh, psalm 134, verse 1. Oh, praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who serve at night in the house of the Lord. Lift up holy hands in prayer and praise the Lord. May the Lord, who made heaven and earth, bless you from Jerusalem. Again, a short one. And uh, one of the uh, commentators said that this might actually be one uh, just a short little psalm that they sang as they were getting ready to head back home, uh, possibly. <clears throat> but it was interesting in these three verses uh, what uh, is actually going on here. So we begin with praise the Lord, uh, all you servants of the Lord. That would be all of us who believe and who follow. Uh, it'd also be specifically those who served in, in the temple. Um, but we are to worship worship the Lord and not just like you and I think about oftentimes we think about worship being Sunday mornings for that one hour and uh, worship is something that should be done uh, regularly and and all the time and in this particular case it even is specific it says you who serve at night in the house of the Lord it was interesting as I got to looking at this, and there's a couple of cross references in First Chronicles 9, verse 33, and then also in First Chronicles 23:30, it references <clears throat> the Levite. The Levites were the priests who took care of the temple, and within the Levites there were uh, musicians. And it references those musicians being on duty day and night. David had put in place a, a time where, uh, or a specific group of people who worshipped and kept the worship going continuously. Uh, the musicians were always there playing. There was a chorus there that was singing. And so you could come to the temple and worship continuously and so if those who were serving at night they were keeping the worship going and that's a again just a, a reminder to you and I that worship isn't confined to that one hour on Sunday morning uh, we should worship our our creator our God and our Savior uh, always and continuously. <clears throat> he goes on in verse 2, lift up holy hands in prayer and praise the Lord. So again, praising the Lord, worshiping the Lord. But here he says we should lift up holy hands. Uh, holy hands in this case references uh, clean hands. Uh, these are hands that should be uh, free from sin and uh, not perfection, but free from regular sin. And um, we lift up these hands, these holy hands in prayer. Uh, we oftentimes, when we're little kids, we're taught to fold our hands in our laps and bow our heads. And that's one way of praying. Uh, David, or the psalmist in this case, says, lift up holy hands, lift up clean hands to the heavens. Lift them up towards God and, and pray. And again, just as worship is 
uh, a continuous thing day and night. A prayer also is a continuous thing. We need to be reminded of uh, the Apostle Paul writes in 1 Thessalonians uh, 5.17 to pray continuously or to pray without ceasing. Again, prayer should be something that our connection to God, again, uh, daily and regularly and continuously, uh, lifting our, our cares, our situations, our worries, our hopes, our thankfulness to God um, continuously. And then he finishes up, May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Jerusalem. Uh, referencing the Lord who made heaven and earth, the creator. Again, referencing the creator of all things. This creator, would he bless you from Jerusalem or from Mount Zion? Again, where the temple is at, that's the center of the, uh, the Jews' worship. Um, but that bless you is actually singular. It, it's not bless you as a group of travelers. It's bless you as an individual. God has a blessing for each one of us as we worship and as we pray and as we stay connected to him. Uh, would he bless us in our endeavors? Would he bless us in our days? Um, individually, there's a relationship there uh, between the creator of the universe and you, the individual, and me, the individual. God wants that relationship with us as individuals and, yes, us as a community. But um, don't ever think that you're lost in the crowd uh, because God is concerned about you as the individual also. And so <clears throat> this little psalm sent the people on their way back home, quite possibly. And again, it's just a good reminder for us to be worshiping the Lord throughout the day, to be praying throughout the day and looking for his blessings throughout the day. So let's pray for those, for those things. Uh, Father, we just thank you again for this short little psalm, but again, a, a powerful one that reminds us that our worship shouldn't be just on Sunday morning, but we should worship you, the creator of the universe, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the creator of us as individuals, the one who sustains our lives, who blesses our lives, who gets us through each day, through each situation. Would we worship you and give you thanks and glory for who you are? That worship will include us in prayer. Would our hands be holy? Would they be separate from the works of the world? And would we lift them up to you? Uh, for many of us, it seems kind of weird to, to raise our hands up. And yet all throughout scripture, and especially this morning, we're encouraged to lift our hands high above our heads and reach towards the heavens, towards you with all of our hopes, our dreams, our concerns, our wants, our needs, would we be people who communicate and reach out for you? And then today, as we walk in worship and prayer, Father, we look for your blessing. We don't know exactly how that will come or what that will look like, but we look for your blessing, God, your your kindness on us, your mercy on us, your grace on us today as we go about whatever this day might hold for us, whatever it might bring. Would you bless us today in Jesus' name? Amen. All right, good to see you, Elaine and Maddie and Patty. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, enjoy the weather. It looks like it's going to be a nice day out there. So I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.